from private content version 4 you can also sync uh, private content users with uh, WordPress users. This uh, to um, extend the private content power also to uh, WordPress based systems uh, as uh, WooCommerce or simple um, WordPress uh, comments or any sort of uh, other stuff based on uh, WordPress uh, login. To enable it, uh, go into private content settings, then check WordPress integration and update options. From this moment, uh, once uh, a user will try to uh, register on the front end or when you will uh, add a new user, a mirror WordPress user will be um, created. Of course, you can, you can bulk uh, sync users or bulk uh, clear this sync. And you can also require this sync uh, for newly uh, registered users. Let's see how to create uh, users and uh, how this integration uh, works. Let's add a new user. Test WP. Any mail is required. Then a password and select a category. Let's add the user and as you can see it has been synced. Now, username and email can be changed while uh, uh, private content user is synced because uh, these data are the base of the sync. You can, of course, detach this user, but let's see before how is uh, represented in the user list as this little icon that means. Uh, it has been uh, synced with uh, WordPress users. Let's see the WordPress users list. You can see it as WP, private content role, and you can't edit or delete it. You must do it uh, through the users list simply by editing uh, the user. In fact, uh, once uh, this user is detached, you'll be able to edit the username, the mail, and also WordPress user will be deleted. Let's go back and sync the user. And then let's try to uh, log in through the WordPress form, for example, let's go to the WordPress login screen, test WP, password, and login. Private content will recognize the synced user and redirect to the home page or to the default uh, uh, redirect after the login. Then, if I go into private content, you will see that this, for example, this, that uh, it's a private block, has been unlocked, you see. For example, also the private page we are in, as logged as test OP. Then, now we are in just uh, as a private content user, but, but also logged as a WordPress user. Then you can use comments, you can manage WordPress, um, WooCommerce, or integrate with the existing WordPress systems.